In this video, I'm going to cover ambiguous equations in the game of equations. One important note that I want to make about ambiguous equations is that it does not apply to minor players. Minor players follow the order of operations, or PEMDAS. Elementary players and above, however, may face ambiguous equations, but not minor players. So what are ambiguous equations? These are equations that have multiple interpretations, and some interpretations may make them incorrect. A solution checker may interpret an, an ambiguous equation in a way that does not match the goal. You can also interpret the goal in a different way that would make it not match the solution. However, crafting ambiguous solutions is not illegal. Here's an example of an ambiguous equation. 6 times 5 minus 3 equals 27. The first interpretation here is if we took 6 times 5 in parentheses and subtracted 3, and so that would be 30 minus 3 equals 27, and then 27 equals 27. That checks out. However, the other interpretation, which is 6 times in parentheses, 5 minus 3 equals 27, simplifies to 6 times 2, and then that is only 12, not 27. So this does not match the goal here. Here's an example of another ambiguous equation. 3 plus in parentheses 4 times 9 equals to 2 to the power of 5 plus 7. You might be looking at the solution and saying, oh, that's okay, there's parentheses there, but the goal side doesn't have parentheses. So one interpretation would be three plus in parentheses four times nine equals two in parentheses two to the power of five plus seven. So that's three plus 36 equals two, two to the power of five plus seven. And that simplifies to three plus 36 equals to 32 plus 37. And that's just 39 equals 39. So that checks out. However, the other interpretation would be three plus in parentheses four times nine equals to two to the power of in parentheses five plus seven. This is three plus 36 equals to two to the power of in parentheses five plus seven. Three plus 36 is 39, but two to the power of 12 is 4,096. So that does not match the solution. Here's another example of an ambiguous equation. Although you see parentheses in this one, there is still ambiguity. The first interpretation would be 8 divided by 2 in parentheses plus in parentheses 2 times 3 equals to 10. This simplifies to 4 plus 6 and that's equal to 10, so this checks out. The other interpretation is in parentheses 8 divided by 2 plus 2 in parentheses times 3 equals to 10. This would be 4 plus 2 in parentheses times 3 and then 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18 not 10, so this doesn't match. Even though ambiguity exists a lot of the time when there's no parentheses, in this one, there's actually no ambiguity. You use a different path, there's two interpretations, but you get to the same result. In the first one, you do parentheses seven times nine divided by three equals 21. Seven times nine is 63. 63 divided by three is 21, so that checks out. The other interpretation, seven times in parentheses nine divided by three, so that's seven times three, is also equal to 21. So how do you avoid ambiguity? Well, all you need to do is just use parentheses in your solution and goal to avoid ambiguity. As long as you use parentheses, you can craft your solution in any way you want, and it's better to be safe than sorry and have somebody interpret your solution in a way that doesn't match the goal. You are also allowed to use parentheses in the goal. Although people say you can't change the goal, you can't change any of the cubes of the goal, but you are allowed to add parentheses where there is ambiguity. So be sure to do that to avoid any misinterpretations of your goal. Now, when it comes to checking a solution with ambiguity, if you check a solution that has ambiguity, tell your opponents that the solution has ambiguity. Then, on your own paper, what you're going to do is write out your own interpretation because you need to prove that there's another interpretation of their solution that does not equal the goal. Write out the full equation and then add parentheses as needed to make your own interpretation. Your interpretation should make the solution wrong. Remember, you can also do this on the goal side too, but the one thing you can't do is interpret the goal in a way that makes it illegal. Just be careful about that. You can interpret the goal in ways that make it a different number, but you cannot make it, but you cannot interpret it as being illegal. So here's a drill. Determine whether these solutions are ambiguous or not. Pause the video if you need some time.
So the answer to the first question, which is eight plus two plus seven, is no, because both interpretations, regardless of whether you put parentheses around the eight plus two or around the two plus seven, still yield the same result, which is 17. For the second question, there is ambiguity. If I want to interpret the solution this way, four minus in parentheses three times four, that is not equal to one. This one is also ambiguous. I could interpret this one as in parentheses seven minus one times in parentheses six divided by two. Although the solution side remained the same, I interpreted the goal side as three to the power of in parentheses two plus nine, which makes it three to the power of 11. And that is a very large number that is definitely not equal to the solution side. Finally, for this fourth example, this is ambiguous as well. I'm gonna interpret this as eight minus in parentheses, three times in parentheses seven plus five. Seven plus five is 12 and three times 12 is 36. Eight minus 36 is some negative number and that is definitely not equal to 60. Anyways, subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content. Like the video if you learned something new about ambiguous equations. And until next time, see you later.